Today we're having a look at the Dubois 70 Celtic Spirit. She was originally built as Beagle. She is aluminium, Ketch rig as you can see, large mizzen which is very worthwhile, very ruggedly constructed. Here is her cockpit which is very deep and well protected. Twin anchoring arrangements and here is her lovely pilot house and wide clear decks. The transom hydraulically folds out to create a bathing platform and her dinghy lives on the aft deck. When on board Celtic Spirit she was in refit so we haven't videoed the forward section of the yacht that will be for a later date and you will be able to see her refurbish heads compartment. The forward section has crew accommodation leading into a heads compartment, a upper and lower berth cabin behind that and then a further heads compartment for the second guest cabin. All of the interior woodwork is in honey teak and as you would expect from her build yard pendennis, it is executed to an extremely high standard. From the forward section you walk into a generously sized galley, Corian surfaces, big cooker which has been replaced which is also gimbaled, four burners, oven and grill, twin sink, microwave, loads and loads of storage. All these cupboard hatches are custom made for the yacht. The refrigeration was recently rebuilt there's a top load and a side load refrigeration as well. This yacht has sailed many miles and is used to being at sea for months at a time. This lower crew mess is also a nice feature. Up a step into the deck saloon. And here's her skipper, Ansys, beating a retreat. This is a fantastic feature of this yacht. Fantastic vision, big seating area, and with easy access into the cockpit. There's a flat screen TV on the port side that flips up if you're on passage and want to watch a movie. Great place for watch keeping when you're in deep ocean but of course if you're closer in you'll want to have people on deck. Then we come down into the aft section of the yacht and we turn to port to the navigation area which is a great position from which to do chart work and actually to do ordinary computer work as well. The boat has full communications and is well set up. And then you go into Ansys's workshop, which is all set up. The boat is twin screw. And this has got room for lots of storage and working when at sea. It's also the place where the washing machine lives and there are storage bins above that. There is then a watertight door into the main engine room which has a bound carpet. Main engines, port and starboard and generator in front of us and there's another generator over the way. Everything has been either replaced or rebuilt in the past few years. Very good sand deadening. Good access to all the systems. The engines are original, but they have had a lot of work done to them. That gearbox has recently had a large amount of work. And then we are coming aft again and here is a very small cabin which isn't the tidiest which is crew cabin which is for the captain 
and then we walk into the owner's stateroom which is huge it has a generous double there's a passage berth on the port side seating area glorious joinery lots and lots of space and there's a photograph of Celtic spirit in the ice. She's been to Antarctic. And then you're into the owner's heads, separated shower stall. Dubois 70 Celtic spirit, very comfortable, all in great shape.